Oh, now then, what are you having for breakfast this morning? Chances are it's not watercress, but um, you might be tempted to change your eating habits if new research proves correct. Yes, because scientists say watercress can help fight cancer. It's now officially what they call a superfood, and it joins an ever-growing list of things to add to the shopping basket. Hmm, health experts say blueberries are packed with vitamin C, folic acid and fibre, and it said those vitamins do help maintain a healthy brain. Uh, pumpkins are said to be good for helping prevent sun damage to our skin. And pumpkin seeds. I've had both of those this morning. That's good. Whilst broccoli is said to contain cancer-fighting nutrients. Yes, and uh, moving on to the humble tomato. That's also been found to prevent some cases of cancer. So would you consider taking a little more watercress in your diet? Well, we took the salad onto the streets. Oh, it's nice. Very nice. Very good nice. stuff, isn't it? It is good stuff, yeah. yeah. It's good to be nice and healthy for I had the whole bag, actually. It is quite <laughs> nice. It's full of beans, I am now. Full of beans. Yeah, I've tasted better superfoods, actually. So, <laughs> I don't know if I'd choose it. Uh, I think I'd eat it for breakfast. Well, what do you like it with? Um, watercress soup's nice. No, I, I, it'd only be with something else. It wouldn't be uh, necessarily on its own. We can't tempt you at all by the green... <laughs> <laughs> right, so do superfoods really exist or is this just a marketing gimmick? Well, Steve Rothwell is a watercress farmer and Lindell Costain is a nutritionist. Good morning to you both. Good morning. What is so great about watercress, Linda? Well, it's packed full of vitamins and minerals and it's also got a lot of what we call phytochemicals or plant camp compounds and that's what gives it its superfood status. You know that, that, that sort of peppery taste of watercress? That comes from particular uh, phytochemicals which seem to have anti-cancer effects in the body and this now has been tested with a human study not in a test tube not in animals but with everyday people eating watercress for eight weeks it was found to reduce DNA damage which has an anti-cancer effect in the body so it's great news and Steve do people eat watercress much I mean how much of it is sold well a lot I mean the UK turnover is probably over 50 million pounds per annum these days so it, it is fast increasing in popularity and with good cause it, it is probably the original superfood and as time goes by, we're finding more cause as to why it uh, deserves that classification. I never used to like it when I was younger because of that strong taste, as you say. But of late, it's been... I am going to just... Um, Go for it. Yeah, I, I will have some, yeah. <laughs> Might as well add that to my pumpkins and blueberries this morning. Um, because of the strong taste. But now it's sold um, pretty much in with Rocket and, and other things. Is that to try to make it more palatable to people maybe who haven't tried it before, do you think? Well, yeah, certainly in our company. We, we started as a watercress company oh. and... and probably in the late 80s, early 90s, we, we moved to growing other crops to sell more watercress. So we'd mix it with lettuce, we mixed it with roquette, we mixed it with spinach. And interestingly, one of the biggest selling salads today is, is watercress, roquette and spinach, which is just another way of delivering watercress, you know, broadening its appeal. But we, but we do find a lot of people eat these mixed salads and will then start to eat watercress who perhaps wouldn't yeah, have I mean, tried it lovely. before. I mean, is, so, so is it just me? Is it, or do a lot, I, I think a lot of people think the watercress doesn't taste very much at all because it's called watercress. Do you well. <laughs> I know it does. I mean, I know what it tastes like. It's yeah. quite a strong flavour. Distinctive, yeah. But some people think it's almost not worth bothering with in, you know, in, the, in the great scheme of things. It's always that bit on the side, wasn't it? It was a garnish as opposed to perhaps using it as, a, as an ingredient. What about adding it then to our daily diet? How much of it do we need to eat for it to have any, any real benefit? Um, and, and really, well, why? <laughs> Well, small amounts are great. I mean, it's, it's so full of, of nutrients, you're going to get a benefit, even if you just have a bit in a salad every day. In the study, people were eating 85 gram a day, which is a watercress, a pack that you buy in a supermarket. And that might seem like a lot, but a, a smallish apple weighs 85 gram. It's just that it's fluffier. So it's very, I mean, you can put it in a smoothie, whiz it up with pear or melon in the morning, that's lovely. Put it in a wrap or a sandwich at lunch and put some perhaps in a salad in the evening or toss it into a, a stir fry just towards the end or a pasta sauce just towards the end so it wilts a bit but you can serve the nutrients and it cooks down so you could easily get through that 85 gram a day. Okay, you're nodding away there, agree yeah. with that? Yeah, well I'm just thinking I mean, one way to overcome the bulkiness of it is, is to um, lightly cook it. I mean my, my daughter, she, she loves watercress and couscous, so you, you cook the couscous and then two minutes before you serve, chop watercress into it and it almost vanishes. Cooking tips as well. <laughs> what more can you expect at this time of the morning? Thank you both very much Thank indeed you. for coming on, extolling the virtues of watercress. Yes, Thank and the flavour is lingering it in is, my, on my palate now. It's good to see the kids <laughs> in the early morning. Too. There you go. I like, quite like it with my coffee, watercress and coffee. Lunch or dinner at least, if new research proves correct, because scientists say 
Watercress can help fight cancer, and it's now officially what's called a superfood. Well, let's get more on what exactly is a superfood. Alison Harp is at a watercress farm in Alsford in Winchester to tell us more, much more, we hope. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Now, this is known as the watercress capital of the country. And if you look around me, you can see exactly why. There are acres of the stuff here. Now, for years, people have known that watercress has been a possible cure for a hangover. It's been an aphrodisiac and also a cure for freckles, would you believe it? But this new research suggests that it could have an impact on your health, maybe reducing the damage that's done to the DNA structure and also helping people's eyesight. But are you prepared to eat superfoods for breakfast? We went and asked some people. Oh, it's nice. Very nice. Very good nice. Good stuff, isn't it? It is good stuff, yeah. yeah. It could be nice and healthy. Well, I had the whole bag, actually. It is quite <laughs> nice. It's full of beans, I know. Full of beans. I've tasted better superfoods, actually. So I don't know if I'd choose it. I don't think I'd eat it for breakfast. But well, what do you like it with? Um, watercress soup's nice. No, I, I, it'd only be with something else. It wouldn't be uh, necessarily on its own. We can't tempt you at all by the green. OK, so it's the latest superfood, but only recently we had pomegranate juice. We know that broccoli is a superfood, blueberries are, as are walnuts. With me is Priya Chu, a dietitian. Are we getting too used to superfoods? Are there too many around? Well, certainly people are getting a little bit over the top about them all and they seem to kind of almost get addicted to them. And when the latest one comes out, that's it. People are like, right, I must buy it. And they go a little bit over the top. But watercress, it's been known to have some medical properties for some time. So do you think it really should be labelled a superfood? I'm not sure because there isn't an actual definition of what a superfood is. It's all a little bit confusing. What is a superfood? Nobody really seems that sure of what it is. It's definitely a fantastic food to be eating and research has recently shown all the nutrients that are in it. OK, lovely. Well, one man who knows how good watercress is is Rob Gibbs, who's worked here in Allsford on the watercress beds for 20 years. I mean, you are a big believer. This hasn't come as a surprise to you. Absolutely. Well, we've known for thousands of years in the world that watercress is good for you. The Greeks, the Romans were the first to chronicle it, and uh, the Victorians backed it up. Uh, uh, poor man's bread uh, was, a, was a common food in, in, the, in the 19th century in London, and uh, watercress was, was a popular feature of people's diets because it was one of the few products available throughout the winter months when other foods were, were normally... Uh, not available. Not the easiest thing to eat for me. I don't really like my greens too much, but what's your favourite way to eat it? Uh, myself in a sandwich, uh, just fresh watercress. Rob, thank you ever so much. Priya, thank you. Now, here in Allsford, it is watercress capital, so whether you're a sceptic to the superfood or a convert to it, it has a real place in this part of Mid Hampshire's history. Back Shame you. on you, Alison, for saying you don't eat your greens. <laughs> Surrounded by the stuff. Well, I'm not there. quite so sure. I I like my greens, but not that much. OK. <laughs> Fair dues. We're already getting recipes in for uh, good watercress soup. Perhaps we'll try and share that with you a little later. All right. Coming up shortly on the programme. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the thinnest of them all? Ah, high street shops trying it on with their fitting room mirrors. OK, now let's join our news teams across the UK and we'll see you shortly. Harper is at a watercress farm in Earlsford near Winchester. We've already had some ourselves this morning. Alison, uh, just explain why it's the new superfood. Well, this is the watercress capital, really, in Mid Hampshire. They produce an awful lot of it. Um, recently, they've decided that it could be a superfood. People have known around this area that it has medicinal qualities for some time. It's been known as a an aphrodisiac and a cure for toothache. But now this research suggests that it may help prevent damage to your DNA structure and prevent eye disease developing in the future. But with watercress as a superfood, would you be prepared to eat it for breakfast? Oh, it's nice. Very nice. Very good nice. Good stuff, isn't it? It is good stuff, yeah. Yeah. It could be nice and healthy. Well, I had the whole bag, actually. It is quite <laughs> nice. It's full of beans, I know. Full of beans. I've tasted better superfoods, actually. So <laughs> I don't know if I'd choose it. I don't think I'd eat it for breakfast. But well, what do you like it with? Um, watercress soup's nice. No, I, I, it'd only be with something else. It wouldn't be uh, necessarily on its own. We can't tempt you at all by the green. So, with watercress as a new superfood, I'm with Priya Chu, who's a dietitian. Um, are there too many superfoods on the market now? I wouldn't say there's too many. The confusion is nobody really knows what a superfood is and what the benefits are, so people need to be a bit wary. The advice I would give is that you have to eat everything in the context of a healthy, balanced diet. But watercress is good for you? 
Oh, it's definitely good for you and I'd recommend anyone to eat it, but you don't want to eat it to the extent that you're cutting other fruit and vegetables out of your diet, so we need to be eating a range. Priya, thank you ever so much. A man who knows all about watercress is Rob Gibbs here. Now, this is the watercress capital, so what makes this area so good for growing watercress? Well, really, it's the abundance of pure spring water that comes out of the ground here that uh, helps us to grow this wonderful crop. And uh, the easy access to the London markets via the railway line uh, and uh, hence the, uh, the, um, the, uh, the capital. And does the spring water help with the flavour? Uh, it doesn't. It's, uh, it's got a natural peppery flavour, which is the mustard oil that's contained in the leaves, which contains the, 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 the healthy parts of the watercress. Thank you ever so much. Now, there is a nice peppery flavour. Apparently, Liz Hurley swears by watercress soup. I'm not so sure, but it's quite nice in the salad. Back to you. Thank you very much. We're getting lots of recipes, actually, indeed, for watercress soup as well. That's mm. what you put some on the website.